what does he do that's so bad? One of the worst things is that he'll belch so loud in public, you feel like you're going to go deaf. <laughs> in seven years, haven't you told him not to do that? So many times I can't even begin to tell you how many, I couldn't even begin to count how many times I've asked him, don't, please just get up from the table and then go belch or something like that. It's just really obnoxious and really loud and too much. What else? He's the one that doesn't brush his teeth very often. <laughs> takes a shower like... <laughs> he Once a, a week? If he has to or not, he will. Once a week, About whether he has week, to or not? Unless I... How often does he shower? About three times a week. <laughs> has a pair of jeans with so many holes in them? He has to wear thermal pants underneath them. Otherwise, he'll be showing other stuff off that you could get arrested for showing off. Now, yeah. what do you mean when you told us that he wears a baby sleeper? What is a baby <laughs> sleeper? I could show it to you if you want yeah, to see it. Yeah, what does it look like? This is has... He uh, came to bed one night, romantically, <laughs> wanting, to, wanting to be romantic with this. There's more. There's so many other things. You said he even dresses badly for important occasions, like what? Like going uh, for a job? He wore or? this. We had reservations for dinner for our anniversary this past summer, and it was a really nice restaurant. And this is what he wore. We argued for an hour before the reservations. We're late for the reservations because we fought about him wearing this with the with the t-shirt and everything else. All right, terrible. why after seven years of not being taken out, insulting the family, not being able to get the job he wants, why are you gonna leave now? It's seven years later. I, I, I gave it my best shot. You can't take it anymore. I just, I can't take it anymore. I, I bought him clothes. I've tried to dress him up to have him look decent. Even in something comfortable that just looks really nice and he just, it will not I like work. my clothes. I'm keeping them. Either you keep me in my clothes or you don't keep me at all. So I said, well, I don't keep you at all then. You gotta do something about it. All right. Maybe we can ask him what he's up to. Let's meet uh, Wendy's husband, Ray. Ray, come on out. the socks with the sandals in the winter time in the rain in the rain these are the jeans he wore to my grandmother's 80th birthday party stand up for a second please turn around see this you know it, i just can't i can't take them like that ray you heard yeah. what your wife has been saying yeah what is it with you did you I like crawl to be out of the those rare occasions that we do go out i'll walk five or six feet in front of him and try and... You pretend you're not with him. I walk a little faster than he does. <laughs> I do that too. Now, you claim that your husband looks like the homeless. Absolutely. Is that giving the homeless a bad name? I hope not, I don't mean to, but he just looks like <laughs> he crawled out of a dumpster somewhere sometimes. Uh, it's, it's terrible, I mean, I got, you got, yeah, we call him Dr. Dirt at home. Dr. 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 Dirt. <laughs> 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 this is a clean sock. All right, now, he keeps his socks, all of his socks match because he cuts the colored part off the top. So this stays white. Um, these are the Franken shorts. Those are my favorite. And you can see, you know, we got your holes and your stitching and, I mean. These and are I, his favorite things. These, this, is, this is around the home togs. Um, <laughs> I gotta get this thing off. Uh, let's see what else. What are we those? Have. That looks really. This. Now these are clean. Okay, I promise you. He forgot that you don't put bleach in with dark clothes. <laughs> so they look like he's been rolling in something. Man, he's a big guy. Though. He's a big boy. He's a very big boy. You say and you have. This is this is also 
around the home togs. This lasted, this was clean for about 36 hours. <clears throat> wow. I think this is a taco here. But I mean, this is, this is what he wears around the house. And I've had it. Yeah. You say your husband wears, he painted his shoes black and white, red and green zebra stripes? Yeah. Why would a man paint his shoes? I don't think he liked them white anymore. I don't know. He's, um, <laughs> he's, crea he's pretty creative. And he just, one day he came home and he said, what do you think of my shoes? I thought, like, you got to take them off and burn them. <laughs> <laughs> they got to go. I'm sorry. Now, you say <laughs> when you walk ahead of him and he walks behind, he makes faces at people? He makes faces uh, as I'm walking in front of him. So when I'm walking, the people walking towards me are, I see this reaction from this <laughs> snarl. And I look around and look behind me, and he, he's got this big old grin on his face like he's not doing anything. I try to get him to take a shower. Uh, when I ask him to take a shower, he's very uh, combative. He doesn't want to do what I want him to do. So I'll pour water on him and say, okay, you're that wet now. Just get in the shower and get the rest of it done. When did you see him dressed up last? Uh, September, thir uh, September 18th, he, on our wedding, he wore, he wore a, uh, tuxedo. You mean you just got married? No, we got married two years ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> he we've was been the together last for, We've time? been together for 10. Well, that was the last time I saw him dressed up and Have and you been good. able to make any changes in him at all, at all, at all? Um, <laughs> shame doesn't seem to be working. Nothing. No, <laughs> Let's try a little shame, okay? <laughs> all right. Let's uh, meet Ellen's husband, Dan. Dan, come on out so we can shame you. Pants <laughs> and T-shirt with a hole in it. Now, do, Ellen, don't you feel better that your husband, the last time you saw him, was at your wedding? How could he do that? How? Um, I don't know. You want to see the outfit he wore, his wedding outfit? Yeah. Okay. This is his wedding outfit. Did you marry Why did you marry him? Oh, wait. you got to show the good part. Show the front. Yeah. Turn around. What? The, the what ball. were his... And, and this is the T-shirt that he wore with it, okay? Why did you say... Can, can you read that? Can you read this? It says, the horrible, the horrible truth behind whipped cream. <laughs> That's his wedding. Actually, this is his, it, this is his formal wear, because he wears this to funerals, too. Why did, you, why did you marry him when he dressed like that? Because he's, he's a great guy. Is he a great oh, yeah. guy? But he's really, how he long really have is. you been married to him? Almost 16 years now. In 16 years, has he ever had a suit on? Yes, he did. He wore a suit. I saw him in a suit. In 16 years, I saw him in a suit one time on Halloween. And it was a, <laughs> no, it was a plastic suit. It was a plastic suit. And it was really the best that I've ever seen him. He looked great. No, he looked great in it. This is what he wears every day. This is his going to the dentist, going to the store, going to the doctor. Man, he did. He, he got his money worth on that <laughs> shirt, didn't he? My goodness. Now, you say the children are embarrassed because of uh, their dad? Well, they like to be pre-warned when he's going to be arriving at any school functions. And so the kids can run out. So they can leave and, yeah. What and do you want us to do with him? Oh, I want you, because he's, he can be such an attra he's so attractive, I, and I just know that if he had a makeover, he would just look so great. He would. He really would. Will he, will he sit still for the makeover? I'm not sure about that, but do you, I'd really like you to try. Let's ask him. It's time we heard from Mariana's husband. Danny, come on out. <laughs> One of my better shirts, yeah. <laughs> added a couple oh my since we goodness. were here. You moved out of his house? Yeah, I moved out. His house is it's terrible. He has dirty dishes in the sink, pop cans everywhere. Dirty pop cans. He's been there for months. 
clothes strung all over the place. He doesn't sweep his floors. Mind you, I do not live there. <laughs> and this, this is like the things that he wears all the time. He works on his car in these. These used to be doctor pants. He cut them off and he like laid under the car and got stuff all over him. And then he'll wear these to go out to eat in. Ooh. And these are like his camouflage pants. He wears these just about everywhere. Is he, he in the army? No, no, definitely not. He, he wears like, <laughs> he wears like red shirts with these, purple shirts, things that just don't match. He clashes really badly. He's just, he's the messiest person I've ever met and I'm just tired of cleaning up after him and I'm not gonna put up with it anymore. I'm well, tired but, of it. Yeah, you go. You're different than the others. The others are married to these slobs. Uh -huh. You I have still a, have time. To you get can out. run. <laughs> okay. Kim brought some home video to show us firsthand what a slob her fiance is. His name is Todd. Let's take a look. You can just kind of see how messy he is. He doesn't like to clean anything up. Dishes are the worst thing. Tire in his kitchen. It's sitting right by the sink. I don't know how long that's been there. Oh my god. What a clothes touch wash. There's dark and lights. He doesn't know how to keep those separated. This is Todd's bathroom. There's some water he left in there overnight. It looks kind of grungy. There's his floors, rug, some other things laying in the floor. There's an old towel, an old pot bottle. There's her dog. She tore the curtains down, and that's how Todd hung them back up. There's the front porch. There is the engine that was once in my kitchen that I made him get out. This is Todd's car. I don't know if you can see it real well. But in the floor, there's all kinds of trash that's probably been in here forever. There's an old pizza box, and I'm pretty sure it's been here for about two weeks. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Let's find out whether she should leave Todd. Todd, come on out. Todd, how you doing? You heard what Kim has been saying about you. Well, everything's got an explanation. I mean, <laughs> she, she, when we first got together, it was like she bought a million dishes. I mean, you can only do so many dishes and stick them up in the cupboard before you got to start throwing them out. Shut up. <laughs> so the reason your dishes are dirty is you have too many of them. No, the ones in the sink just couldn't fit in the cover. No, they're dirty. They were dirty. Were dirty. Left them out there. They were dirty dishes, trust me. Do you think that she should marry somebody like this and settle for a life like these women have settled? Well, if I can lower her down to my level, it'll be all right. What about Never. going up to her level? I don't think yeah. anybody can reach yeah. her level. Now, do you think you can handle a makeover? Um, I can handle it. I don't know if it would be good for me, but... <laughs> Fashion plate husband Dennis is waiting backstage, and we're going to hear from him in just a moment. Mindy, what Dennis... What does he wear that is so bad? Dennis doesn't seem to be able to let go of the Navy. <laughs> the na he can't let go of the Navy? No, he loved it, I guess. I don't know. This is Dennis's favorite type of shirt. And he doesn't have just one. He has about 12. Just like that? A green and this color. And, and that's see? what he got from the Navy. Yeah, this is what he calls climate control. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, I think these came from the Navy, too, although they are green. These are also climate control pants. These, I will, I, I never see him in anything else but these. These are great. Aren't That's these it. nice? That's it. His favorite. He's tall. Yeah. They're also climate control. <laughs> and they're, they're a little big on him, too, obviously. And this is Dennis's good shirt. This is the one that he can't wear to work because he doesn't want to mess it up. <laughs> You can almost see through this shirt. <laughs> but, because um, he had uh, it yeah. since the 60s when that I, kind of thing was You know, was I'm, really yeah. not, I'm really not sure. I'll so tell you original. what he did. He caught himself on fire last year and burned a <laughs> hole in a jacket, a big hole. And then he brought it home, and I said, Dennis, you've got to throw that coat in the garbage. He said, no, you can't. It's still warm. It still keeps me warm. So, so behind his back, I threw it away several weeks later, and along with a whole lot of other things. For example, a shirt, a tank top, mesh red. It said, I'm a pepper. 
<laughs> so I, I, I thought it was time for that one to go, and um, yeah, they, that, that, those are about. The Does he have bell-bottom trousers like an? Yes, and he has several pairs of those also. Several pairs of these green ones. Several pairs of the bell bottoms. Lots of the shirts you can't throw away. One they keep coming back. <laughs> anything to remind him of the navy. Yeah, he uh, likes the navy. You say that he once went to the refrigerator and he eats green hamburger <laughs> that is in oh, the refrigerator. Yeah. Yes, he has. He likes to sit on the floor and if there isn't an ashtray, he flicks the ashes on his pants and rubs, rubs it, it in. in. Yeah. Yeah. They all I do think, that, I think Sally. They all, they all do that. And, and here's the good one. Last night, we got a bucket of ice, and overnight the ice melted, though there was still ice in the bucket and water. And I got up and turned around this morning, and he was drinking out of out the, of the ice bucket. Out of the bucket. Yes. <laughs> it's like they're sex tuplets that were they're, separated they're at birth. They're all separated at birth. <laughs> Honest they to all, God, they're we, all the we, same. <laughs> you mean all this is one family of men? I've had yes, my catch on fire, believe. too. I mean, it just happens. That's what we and believe. you know what? You're going you're gonna to love his pants, because he doesn't use a belt. He used to use a rope, but since they're such belt bottoms, <laughs> the rope would hang down, and everybody called him Jethro. So, <laughs> so I threw away the rope, and now he goes to work every morning and gets a safety wire and twists it right in the middle to hold his pants up. It's Does bad. he own a belt? Um, several, but they're good belts. He can't wear those. Why? I, if the belts are good, he can't wear them. They're not good. He just thinks they're good. I like to know. I like to know what your family think about them. Do they like them or what? Um, actually, Dennis is a crazy character, and my family has found it very hard to dislike him. Let's just put it that way. Oh, my We've learned to look beyond him. they have. I personally love him. I don't particularly care for his clothing or right. his um, habits. L let's <laughs> see what Dennis really looks like and what he has to say. <laughs> Green hamburger out of the refrigerator. <laughs> I tell you, that belt, I think it's serves Dennis? very many purposes. It's wire. It's oh, wire. Wire. Those, those, no, it's wire. Those, easy, those, easy, Sally, easy. There we go. Those bell bottoms are a little out of stock. Kyle is waiting backstage. We'll hear from him in a minute. Debbie, what does he do that is so bad that you can't bear being romantic with him? Well, when we go out, um, he'll wear these pants. Well, no, I'd say he wears these, but like these and other pants like these, in the front, you know, and I mean, and then he'd have pants, he has pants that are sliced down the side or ripped down the side because he's so big and he'll, and he's, he, since he's so big, his, his skin is sticking Hangs out. out. <laughs> Hangs out. And, like a um, sausage. Yeah, and it makes me sick, you know, and. There, he wears shirts that are so small on him that his belly hangs out. You know? That's embarrassing, and too, when you have to go in public like that. It's yeah. pathetic. It I really mean, is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see and hear from Kyle. Kyle, come on out. Come on, Kyle! And, and and when he has when he has time or when he's not lazy enough to do it, he'll tape the inside of his pants with duct tape and go around like that. Tom and he'll, he'll so normally I try to sew them up, yeah. but I get going so fast that one day I, I had a rip. It was right running here. I just slapped some duct tape on the inside of it just to hide it for the day. And now you know that it works. No. Yeah, it started working. This stuff right. here. This you know. Kyle, are you ready to get a makeover to see if you can make your wife happy? Yeah. Yeah. What are we going to do about this extra weight? I am seeing a doctor. I am trying to start walking to get started on it. Hopefully, I'll be able to get into a, there's a gymnasium up where he, we live. The I'm doctor a, told him to walk two miles a day and to write down what he eats every day. Well, I can't write down what he eats every day when no. he'll... He's the gentleman who does my hair and makeup every day. And Cynthia Ratho Rickman, who coordinates our wardrobe every day. Richard. Yeah.